on the channel, Battlefield Warriors 2-pack Target Exclusive, Battle Armor He-Man and Battle Cat. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another He-Man in the Masters of the Universe Origins unboxing and review, some of my favorite unboxings to do on the channel. And today, we're taking a look at the brand new Battlefield Warriors Target exclusive 2-pack of Battle Damaged Battle Cat and Battle Damaged Battle Armor He-Man. So many battles going on, so little time. But remember, for all your He-Man needs and everything else under the sun, Hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So this one, we're going to do it like we're normally going to do it. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. Should say, like I said before, Target exclusive. Part of the brand new Target resets that are going on right now at your local Target store. Make sure you look for this one. A little bit of a hefty price point, around $50. You will find this on the bottom shelf down there with the Land Shark and what I've been seeing at a lot of my stores. Uh, but be on the lookout. And these seem to be shipping a couple to a case, and they seem to be refilling. I've already had my Target refill these twice. So they're just coming out at a fairly decent clip, so I don't think they're going to be overly extremely hard to get or anything like that, especially at a $50 price point. Just might have to play a little bit of a long game. Might take a couple of weeks out there. I definitely would love to have one of these in the package as well. I'm going to open this one, of course. I might play a little of that long game, see how it goes. Maybe we'll get lucky with some clearance, or as you guys know, in the fall, Target has tons of toy coupons, toy offers out there. Spend $100 on toys, get $25 gift cards, stuff like that. I'm going to save some of my long game items for that. They've done that the last three years. Have to think we'll see that this year as well. Uh, once I get the Snake Eyes G.I. Joe movie figures, I want to in-package set, but I don't want to pay full retail. Stuff like that, stuff like this, some of the double stuff I need. That's what I'm doing. I'm playing that long game. That's what I recommend it for you guys to do as well. As we all want to save as much money as we can, get our figures as cheap as we can. Uh, that way you can buy more figures. That's what I always say. But let's take a look at the packaging on this big, big pack. Uh, first thing we know, we got the old school flap. We remember that from all the other vehicles. This is a big pack, a big almost vehicle pack, which I guess Battle Cat could be classified by some as a vehicle. Um, so there you go. But big, big packaging here. Tremendous artwork. We've always got that over the years with Masters Universe. Great artwork. This one is great as well. And I love the battle damaged idea we got going on here. Uh, this is really new ground. We even show some blood and some cuts on here. This is really deep for uh, what we get with He-Man. We just don't expect to see blood and battle damage like that. So this is a bit of a sleeper pack. I do think this pack will definitely hold its values over the years. And I do see a lot of people probably passing on this as Battle Armor He-Man. Even though there is differences, and we will compare Battle Cat and Battle Armor He-Man from the prior ones to these once we get them out of the box, I can see people sleeping on this or passing on this set because maybe not enough meat on the bone, which in turn will make this one worth a lot more years from now, especially being a Target exclusive on top of it. I just think this is a great pack uh, for further investment if you're into that kind of thing. That's my uh, tip of the day. I bet the house on it. But there it is. There's the packaging here. Can you see all that there? You got Battle Armor He-Man down below, Battle Armor Battle Cat. They are on a gray skull type, uh, like kind of stone uh, diorama display base. I think that is really cool. We get those extra gargoyles in there, which is a nice feature. You get an extra head and hand for He-Man. Got the battle axe, the the battle. Uh, then you got the sword of Gray Skull, of course, and then you got a shield as well. So a lot going on in this pack. A lot going up on top. There's kind of an angle of it there. You got the old Battlefield Warriors 2 pack is what this is officially called. So you got some artwork on the side there. And you got a frog guy climbing up the side on that side. Master Universe logo. So iconic, of course. On the bottom, you got all the uh, warnings, UPCs, all that fun stuff nobody really cares about. And then the back, a lot going on in the back as well. It says, Powerful Protectors of Eternia includes display stand and Castle Grayskull Gargoyles. So there you go. But on the back, there's a lot going on on the back here. As you can see, of course. So there it is. Uh, beautiful artwork up top. I just absolutely love that. He-Man riding Battle Cat against uh, Skeletor. Getting ready to throw down. You see Tila there in the background. Is that a Battle Armor Tila? Maybe we'll get a Battle Armor Tila in the future. 
I do spy too bad there. So there's really some Easter eggs to future characters we may get. We see Faker riding on, was it Copycat? Is that what his cat's name is? Uh, I'm not familiar with Copycat at all. The first time I really took notice to that is the PowerCon exclusive coming out this fall. Hopefully I can somehow get those PowerCon exclusives as I did miss out on those like a lot of other people, unfortunately. I got skunked on those, so hopefully I can pick those up. So there it is, cool background. Down below, we're promoting the new stuff. Uh, Stinkor coming out. Uh, those will be coming out web store, hopefully very soon. Um, so this is getting a little ahead of things uh, in a way, but they'll probably be on the shelves about the same time. Castle Grayskull, of course. We, we've seen that at Walmart, even going to clearance in the last few weeks. Big Bad Toy Store, I think, ships theirs in August. Link in the description below, of course. And i got to think Target and some of the other places will have it for the holidays. You would have to think so. That's a perfect Christmas present for a kid. Castle Grayskull, it was for me when I was a little kid, so I don't think things have changed that much. Uh, but let's see if there's anything to read here on the back. Modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Masters of the Universe action figures. Masters of the Universe Origin gives you the power to pose Eternia's Greatest Warriors as retro-style figures or in a new action-packed battle position. Individually, they are a force to be reckoned with, but together in combat, He-Man and Battle Cat are unstoppable. Just like me and my boy Lemmy on a walk. We're just unstoppable. When we're walking together, no other dogs, no people, nobody's messing with us. We're ruling those sidewalks. That's what happens. But a really cool background here. I hope we get too bad soon. I'm not sure who this guy is. I don't know who that is. Uh, just one of those kind of mindless warriors in the background there. It says you can attach the gargoyles to Castle Grayskull. So that's, I guess, a neat feature. where They're really building around Castle Grayskull. We saw that with the Wind Raider. Now we're getting the stands and stuff. So they're really building around there. So that, that is a cool feature, I think. I'd like to flush out a little bit more Castle Grayskull. I'm, I'm okay with that for sure. All right, let me get this unboxed here. See what we're in for. These are always, you never know. Sometimes they're really latched in. Sometimes they're easy to get out. Sometimes they're trouble. There it is. There's packaging. See you later. All right. Oh my gosh. We got a lot going on here. We got a lot of twist ties. We got a lot of things to cut. So I'm probably going to take it offline. But there it is in the old cardboard prison. That blue extremely pops back there. I love the looks of the blue against the, the red of Battle Cat's saddle, the green of the gray skull uh, kind of grounds i guess we'll call it the red of the gargoyles and then he man i think that blue background works tremendous and you guys know i'm a sucker for a blue background so there you go but all right let's get this out of the package i'm going to take the unboxing off the screen and we'll be right back all right we're out of the package we're unboxed we got all the twist ties done and there it goes see you later get out of here let's clear some space uh, we do get some instructions here. Let's see what it says. Anything good? Uh, not a lot. It says removable parts. So nothing we don't know, really. Removable parts. You can take the head. You can take the hands. All that kind of stuff. We knew all that. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Well, let's get down to what we get here exactly. So we get two bases. As we saw in the package, they were kind of like this, side by side. I guess uh, it makes sense. You can plug these two together. Uh, they just snap together very easily here. Maybe. There it is. Bam. So you got just a little uh, display stand, a little gray skull theme. You put this on the side of gray skull. looks like a little, uh, uh, just a spot for your battle cat and he-man. If you want to make it really make the decoration, really bring it all home. So I do like this kind of stuff. I love a display stand. I love a little bit of scenery with these. Really going to probably take this to the next level and give this a little extra pizzazz. That's what I think. So put that to the side right there. Let's take a look at these gargoyles. Are they the exact same? Yes, the exact, no, they aren't the exact same. One has wings, one does not have wings, but besides that, they are the same. Uh, I don't know if there's a lore to these. I guess we've seen these maybe in artwork before, but I don't know if they've really had a story with them or anything. I could be wrong. I'm just, maybe I'm drawing a blank right now, but it's just a nice touch to build out around your Castle Grayskull. Once again, they showed how these can connect to the Tower of Grayskull. You got this that goes by the Grayskull. It's just really building out your scenes, building everything out. I like that idea a whole lot. So there you go there. Uh, He-Man, we get an extra hand, very similar to the Battle Armor He-Man we got prior. We unboxed it on the channel. That's one of the most popular videos on my channel, if you can believe that. It's like the number three or four video of all time is the Battle Armor Skeletor, Battle Armor He-Man unboxing. I got a lot of hate on that video because I didn't like the Battle Armor He-Man. It's not that I don't like it. My issue was I felt like it came out too soon. I felt like it should have been a year after the regular He-Man figures came out. 
then you bring battle armor because we all know and we're still living it today the regular he-man is clogging pegs across north america and you didn't need another he-man on the shelf to slow down that one wait till those slow down then come out with your battle armor and that was my uh part of my review but some people just did not like that but hey controversy creates cash so i guess i don't know if it didn't really create any cash but it definitely created controversy and i think that's why the views are one of my top viewed uh, videos out there so who knows but you do get the full power sword. That is crucial. I'm glad they switched to this. We know He-Man, traditional He-Man, is being re-released with the vintage head, which a lot of people want, and the full power sword. I got to get me one of those for sure. Comes with the He-Man battle axe as well. So we love that a lot. And then the very iconic He-Man shield is included in this one as well. So he is ready for battle. That is for sure. Is this arm going to move? Oh my gosh, extremely stiff joints on this He-Man. So we're looking at He-Man first. Like I said, he's got the shield, he's got the sword, he's got... Oh, very cool here. All right, let's get him situated. He's got all of his weapons. So it is a re-release with some changes of the Battle Armor He-Man we've gotten in the past. Let me put him on a stand right now. Ringside collectible stands, as I always say, the best stands for your He-Man origin figures by far. Ringsidecollectibles.com. Use discount code KYLE. Save 10%. I got all my He-Man figures on these stands. That's the way to go. And let me grab the other one. So here's the prior He-Man battle armor. Stick him on a stand as well. And all right, we can really look at the differences between the two right now. Um, for me, uh, I'm going to display one with a sword, one with the axe. That'll give a point of difference. That's how I do it. Maybe different heads on them. We'll see. Both of these have the original He-Man inspired head, which we like. But the first thing you notice is the brand new one has the over vac metal silver coloring to his... Uh, chest protector pieces whatever you want to call it very similar to this one uh, but this is more to the old school way and this is what i think people wanted originally so this is mattel once again making do listening to the fans making some changes and that's what they gave us with this one this one i don't know i wish the chest piece on both of these because they are repaints of each other i wish the chest piece was bigger like the original version uh, it's a little small a little hard to use it's just not my favorite gimmick. We'll we'll put it at that. But I, I do like this one, especially with the vintage head. Now they're going vintage head on all these He-Mans. That was the right choice. That should have been the choice from the beginning. But once again, Mattel is listening to the fans. They have changed that up and are putting the vintage head with all the new He-Man figures going forward. Uh, but I do like this battle damaged aspect of this. Bloody figure. I think that is cool. That is something as a kid I always wanted. You know, it was fun playing with your toys. But battle damage figures were very rare in the 80s, even in the 90s. I, I want to say the first battle damage figure I really remember was the 90s Toy Biz Wolverine figure. That was my favorite Wolverine. Uh, or one of my favorite Wolverines, I should say. It was so cool to have a Wolverine beat up with his costume torn, some blood, stuff like that. He-Man's no different. He-Man's out there in the trenches fighting against Beast-Man, fighting against Skeletor, everybody else. He should be getting dinged up and stuff, and that's exactly what we wanted out of this. He-Man, I think it's really cool. So you got a little blood on the leg, you got blood on the arm, you got a little bit on his face here. Just beautiful touches. It's not overly bloody, it's not overly crazy. Uh, but it just is a nice, nice touch. And it definitely puts this one, the new one, I prefer over the old one. I like the silver color of the chest piece better. I definitely like the blood, and I think that adds to it a lot. Of course, the full power sword and everything else. We do get another He-Man head, which somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first time we have received this head. It's vintage inspired, but it's kind of got that wind swept to it. So you can choose your own adventure on your heads for He-Man here. Uh, I'm definitely going to find use for this. Even those old He-Man heads that were new to these that weren't the vintage inspired, I want representation of them in my collection. So uh, I'm going to probably have to buy another He-Man one of these days, but I will have all heads represented in my collection, in my display. I, I just think that that just works for me. You guys choose your own rules like we always say. I might even use this one on this one. I'm not exactly sure yet. So I got to wait and see, but they both fit on ringside collectible stands, like I said, like a glove perfectly. Now we get to Battle Cat, which actually now that I got this Battle Cat out of the package, I realize there's more to it than I thought there was. So once again, uh, beating some expectations out there. I thought this was a 100% direct re-release of the Battle Cat with just some extra you know, cuts on him, just like He-Man. He's got some blood down here on his foot, on his kind of thigh right there, on the back thigh. Uh, same thing on both sides. So I thought that was uh, going to be uh, it. I thought, you know, they just did that. They fancied it up. But no, there is some differences here. And just like He-Man, let's grab the other Battle Cat. 
One of those things, how many battle cats do you need? But I guess you get a couple different scenes going on. Uh, I would truly like to get a regular sized Cringer one of these days. I think that would be a great one to put in the Origins lineup. Give us a smaller sized Cringer. Uh, very similar to the Master Universe Classics version. I would love to see that for Origins. Uh, that was a missing piece in my childhood collection back in the day. I, I wish they would have had that. And I wish for this line they would have that as well. So hopefully one day soon we will get that. But uh, you look at these two straight on, they look very similar, but I love this Battlefield edition as it's a darker, glossier red. It really pops more. Uh, and this one's a lot more duller red. This one reminds me a lot of the one I had as a kid in the early 80s, of course, uh, to my memory. My memory says it was a duller red like this. It wasn't quite this classic. But now that I'm saying that, I feel like maybe it was classic. Maybe it was somewhere in between. Maybe it was more akin to this one. But I like that there is a point of difference besides just some scratches and some blood on it. I, I like that aspect of it. Give us a little bit different. Give us a little bit something different. Don't just straight re-release, which this really is a straight re-release, but it's got enough bells and whistles for me that it makes it worthwhile. Being a Target exclusive, that means it's not going to be at Walmart. It's not going to be everywhere clogging up the shelves because not everybody's going to want this. Uh, this is for the diehard He-Man fans. The ones that's, that want to take it to the next level. There's a lot of people that have this one and this one and they're calling it good. They're going to pass. That makes it a good store exclusive. It's not something everybody wants. Uh, and I do, like I said earlier, think this will be readily available through the fall into the Christmas season. I don't think this is going to be really hard to get, especially at a 50 some dollar price point. And like I said, my store is already restocked twice in a week. So hopefully some of your guys will be in the same boat. And I know some people will say in the comments, mine hasn't even filled this yet. Well, the resets aren't done for at least another week, so there's still a chance out there. I think you'll be able to find this. It has been popping in, in and on, in and off online on the Target app. If you go on there, you might be able to snag one that way as well. But it is a fifty dollars price point, so you got to ask yourself: Do you need a double up version of these, or maybe you skip the other ones? And this is going to be your first ones, uh, so you could have that as well. But I think it is a good good value. As we know, this Battle Armor he mans around a $20 price point. Battle Cat is going to clearance now, but he was a $25 price point. So you're looking at, let's call it $40 between these two and change with tax and everything else. Then for another $10, you're getting the Gargoyles and this beautiful stand paste to go with your Castle Grayskull. So there's a lot of value here to me. Uh, I like this set. I like it a whole lot more than I thought I would. I remember when this was announced, I was like, wow, I can't believe they're actually putting blood on a He-Man character. I just think that is a great touch, and that is what brings this one over the top for me. So I say must have. What say you? Pass, long game, picking it up. Let me know in the comments. I think this is a winner. I think a, a lot of the real hardcore He-Man fans are going to be all over this, but love to hear your guys' comments below. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell, of course. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. And you guys know we're going to be unboxing every single Origins figure as they come out. So be ready. You got to hit that uh, notification bell and make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. So there it is for the Battlefield Warriors. I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.